Hello and welcome to another video and this video is a little bit different because I have been sent something to review. So this is the item I have been sent. It is called a pecan pie and it is from Orchard Audio. So we're going to have a look at what this device is, what it does and why we need it. So the first question is why do you need a DAC? And what does DAX even stand for? Well, it's Digital to Analog Conversion, more specifically Audio DAC. So what it's doing is converting music which is stored digitally to analog. So why would you store music digitally anyway? Well, to be honest, most people now only have experience of digital music. I'm 49 years old, and when I first started buying music, I bought vinyl. That music stored on that is analog, that's to say the frequencies and amplitudes of my voice coming out are stored directly imprinted into that vinyl. The needle then picks up and plays back exactly the troughs and peaks imprinted into that vinyl to make the speech that was put on it. Now I didn't stay on vinyl for very long. In fact, by the time I'd left school I was on to something called cassette tapes. And for those who do not know, this is a cassette. It comes in a nice little case, and there it is. And it's got a magnetic tape on there, and you put it in a cassette player, and it has two sides, you have to turn the tape over, unless you're very clever and have an autoplay button. Now this has something in common with vinyl, uh, which I didn't realise until I uh, did a bit of research for this video. This, the music is also stored in an analogue fashion on this. So, Analog on vinyl and analog on tape. However, this for me didn't last very long because just so when I was about to buy music or started buying music, the CD came out. So most of my collection is on CD. Now I shouldn't have to show you what a CD looks like, but I am going to point out something that is on the CD you may have never noticed. So this is one of the first CDs I bought many, many years ago, Shell Pro. And on the CD and also on the case is a little acronym. Up there, hopefully you can see that. It says AAD. Now what that is, it's a special code and the A is analog and the D is digital. So this was recorded analog, mixed analog and then obviously mastered digitally. And I say obviously because it is a CD and CDs are digital. So the, the music that is stored on here is basically data, ones and zeros. The actual reality is that most people don't even bother with CDs anymore. Most of the music that people listen to is from a streaming service. And there are loads of streaming services available and I can see the appeal. You have an endless amount of music available at your fingertips. So this device is designed to stream music and then convert that digital streamed music into analog for your ears. So now let's have a look at this DAC. Okay, so I've opened up the case on this uh, Pecan Pi, just so you can have a look inside. Those of you who know what a Raspberry Pi is will instantly recognise that there is a Raspberry Pi underneath this. Um, and that Raspberry Pi, if you know your Raspberry Pis, you'll know it is not the latest version, which is the version 4. Uh, this is an earlier version. Uh, the reason being, the uh, Raspberry Pi 4 does actually generate quite a lot of heat, and uh, that's not really desirable in an audio device. And uh, the processing power that the uh, Raspberry Pi 4 uh, um, offers is not really required for this device. So you're better off using a uh, earlier model of the Raspberry Pi. So the device we're actually looking at, the red PCB on top, is the actual DAC. And all I can say is if you look at the specifications on Orchard Audio, you will realise that every single component has been selected for the uh, best optimum audio performance. Um, in fact, even the uh, voltage um, devices uh, that supply all the various components um, have been selected for the uh, lowest noise. Uh, but the key item we want to look at here is the actual DAC. And there are actually two here. There's this device here and this device there. And there are some quite amazing numbers connected with this. Uh, the sample rate is uh, up to 192 kilohertz. But the key one is the actual bit rate, and that uh, bit rate is actually 24 bits. 
Now I can do a simple comparison here. My CD player only does 16-bit. And uh, that might not seem a um, vast difference, 16 to 24-bit, but the reality is that each step on a 16-bit would be divided into an extra 256 steps for 24-bit. Uh, I don't know if that makes sense, but I'll put some numbers on the screen. But what that does mean is you really are picking up, you're getting an incredibly high resolution on the music that you are playing. Now, while we're looking at this view, I will point out that uh, the music actually um, leaves this device on these balanced outputs here, but you do actually get a uh, converter to uh, use your standard phono connection to your amplifier. Okay, so I've put the top back on this rather substantial case, and it really is quite a heavy, robust case. Uh, so it's quite a simple design. As you can see on the front, you just have a volume control. On the side, you have the access to the Raspberry Pi port. In this case, you only need the network, and you have USB available to you as well. And then at the back, you've got your uh, outputs and the power supply, which is 9 volts. Uh, obviously, top and the other side, you can see there are lots of vents. This is for allow uh, passive cooling, but I don't think this device is going to get that hot anyway. Okay, so we've had a look at the Pecan Pie and I've talked about basically why we need it. And uh, that is all I'm gonna do on this video. I'm actually gonna do another video on how we connect it to a system and how we actually get playing music on it. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video.